all right guys so for her we have uh, applied some of the volume fans already these are handmade fans with the mink eyelashes they are loose eyelashes they're not easy to find eyelashes we're using these to get a different look compared to the mega easy fanning eyelashes you can get a smaller base and bigger fans using the pinching method to do your handmade fans so i want to demonstrate that for you guys as a site as another option i know we haven't really shown this in too many of the videos so i hope you enjoy it and see the difference of the look So I have taped her under eye patches, just how I usually tape. I put it under eye patch, white tape, clear tape, and then here are the mink eyelashes I have laid out. We're going to do sizes 10, 12, 13, and 14 to get a cat eye look. I have already applied some on to give you guys a little preview, and I will show you how to make the fan. So first, since I'm going to do the pinching method, first I'm going to grab how many of her lashes I'm going to use. So I'm going to grab about that much. I want pretty thick fans. But remember again, not ever double the thickness of her natural lashes. Then I'm going to pinch at the base. When I pinch, I let go of the top part so it could fan out. Then I'm going to grab it. Once it's found out like that, I'm going to dip the ends so the ends can come together in the glue. Once it's in the glue, just a tad bit, I'm going to go ahead and isolate quickly. And since the glue is already drying, I'm going to dip it again in the glue. So it's kind of like double dipping, but your initial dip should be very little to just hold them together. Then I'm going to either apply it right on top, just like I did. Oops. Let's have it focus right there. So we're going to apply it right on top, just like I did. You can also wrap it around the natural lash or put it underneath. And I will show you guys those techniques as well. So let's focus back on the lashes. I'm going to grab a bunch. I'm going to pinch at the base. Let go of my tweezers so they fan out. going to open and close the tweezers as they fan out then I'm going to dip the ends in the glue to have them come together now I'm going to isolate make sure I get one natural eyelash in between my tweezers now for this one I'm going to go ahead and apply it underneath her natural lash just so you see the difference we, since her natural lashes, re oh, let's focus on the lash again. Since her natural lash you see right here is really straight, only the base of the extension will be attached to her natural lash. And I can fan, I can perfect my fan while it's already on there and drying after I place it. And make sure all the baby hairs are isolated away. I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right on top. Okay, so let me focus back on the eyelashes. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna pinch it. Now I'm going to dip it in the glue so the ends come together a little bit. Now let's focus back on the lashes. I'm going to isolate. I'm going to glue it right on top. Make sure you move any eyelashes so it doesn't touch the fan as it's drying. Okay, and we are staying um, one to two millimeters away from the lash line so we don't hurt her. It doesn't get 
um, stuck to the skin and damage your natural eyelashes nor get any infections. Remember, we wanna change our glue in our glue ring about every 15 to 20 minutes so it doesn't get tacky. to place the camera at the right yeah. spot. Oh. That's a great blooper. <laughs>